Our lesson for today is realizing scatter plots. And our objective is to describe patterns in scatter plots such as clustering, outliers, positive or negative association, linear association or nonlinear association. Open your books page 335. As you can see here, we have two graphs. In the first one, this is clustering. Here, the data points are grouped closely together. And here, we're talking about this point. This point is outlier. Outlier means one data, one data point is away from other data points. So this is outlier. Outlier means it's away from the other data points. Of course, these points are clustering. These are grouped. As you can see here, here we have clustering, and this point is outlier. We have associations, positive association, negative association, and in this one, there is no association. In positive association, uh, as one set of values increase, the other set tends to increase. Simply, when you move from left to right, you will go up. The data goes up. That's the meaning of increase. So, for the positive association, as one set of values increase, the other tends to increase. The opposite in negative. As one va of values, uh, set of values increase, the other set tends to decrease. So when you move from left to right, from left to right, you will go down. When you move from left to right, you move, you move down. And in this one, there is no asso uh, association. Uh, the points uh, show that there is no relationship. There is no relationship between uh, the two variables. In these two, we have nonlinear association and linear association. I think that this is clear because it's uh, like the data that we, uh, we did before when we were graphing, Going the graph. yes, according to the graph, we had before linear functions and nonlinear functions. In this one, this is linear association, something like a line. Uh, in this one, it's negative association and linear association. And in this case, this is nonlinear associ association. Okay. Now, that was. Uh, the basics of this lesson. Now let's move to the workbook. Get your workbook, page 98. Okay.
let's start the first one who knows the answer clustering is when the points on a scatter plot are anyone have the answer going upward excellent Mustafa the clustering is grouped closely together it's positive when it's going upwards when you move from the right to left okay so it's clustering when it's grouped closely together and we have outlier uh, 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 data for one data if it is please if you know the answer let me know first in the chat and after that use your mic if you have the, the answer tell me in the chat first I will pick you I will choose you anyone guys it's important for you to share you should participate the outlier is a, a data point when it's going they're going one. down I can't hear you well this is Mushtaba again yes again Mushtaba yes again I can't hear you well yes Abdullah okay mister an, an outlier is a data point of a scatter plot that is far away from other data points great so it's one point that is far away from other data points good now we have a positive association if the data points have positive association anyone Sad? Yes. Mister, uh, is uh, as uh, one set of values increased, the right. other set tends to to increase. To increase, excellent. Of course, sad the opposite in the negative association. As one set of values increase, the other set tends to tends to decrease 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 great and what's uh, uh, when we don't have association no association in data is when yes ahmed well ahmed ganas ahmed well your mic yes, is working yes. okay there is no association uh, hmm? Point, the points show no relationship great the points show no relationship okay these are the main uh, points the main uh, vocabulary let's start the first example as I told you yesterday uh, you will draw many many times scattering plots or scatter plots so in this one make a scatter plot for the data identify any clustering or outlier in the data okay okay I will wait for you you have one minute draw the scatter plot be quick if you have the answer don't write the answer if you have the answer of the clustering and the outlier don't write the answer now I will ask you let me know in the chat, just let me know. Now, Mister, quick. sorry for interruption, but I don't think that you started recording. Uh, what? 
I don't think that you start recording uh, the session. Okay, Mortada, thank you. Uh, I did. I use another uh, program, separated program. Okay, download it to my laptop. I'm not using uh, recording by uh, Microsoft. I use another program. Okay, and you will find the recording after the session. In Clasir. Okay, guys, have you finished? If you have finished and uh, you have the answer of the clustering and the outlier, let me know in the chat. Don't write answers. Can you give us a minute? Okay, I'm waiting, so. But be quick. This is the first example, just the first. I think this is enough. It's easy. Your point should be like this. Uh, who's this? Mujtaba. Mujtaba, okay. Mujtaba, each time you speak without taking permission, please tell me first in the chat and after that I will let you answer, okay? Okay, Mujtaba. But clustering? Can yes, okay, yes. you can answer. Between the ages? Clustering? Yes, between. Four and five. Between four and five? For this place only? Between three and uh, three and five, six. And six, excellent. So it's three and six. This is and this six. is cluster. And five. there is one outlier where eight, seven, eight. The point seven and eight, excellent. Great. Okay, guys, let's move to the next. The next is. The quick check you have the graph already and you have 30 seconds to think of the answer if you know the answer let me know in the chat of course don't use your mic unless you get permission Muhammad Ramadan, it's easy. You, uh, here, you just need to think for the clustering where the points are clustering, grouped together, close together. These points are grouped close together. And this one is outlier. This is out of the group, okay? Okay, Hassan, do you have a mic? Yes. Okay, Hassan. Give the answer. Uh, the first point will be the age of 13 and uh, the finishing time. The analysis will be 10 by 2. Again? The first point will be at 13 at 10 by 2. So it will be uh, the point at uh, this point. Uh, Hassan, we will use the graph. Look at the graph. Yes, where, is, the where, where is the cluster? Uh, so can I ask? How can I tell you where is Between 9 this nine between nine and here we have uh, 13 9 and 13 and we have outliers in the point this point this is out of the cluster and this point too uh, this one is 12 and 
and this one is 14 and 18 okay Stop. there is a mistake uh, what is the mistake here the point yes the points of cluster because between 9 yeah, and okay. 13 because if you see the points are like is a little bit in front of between 8 and 12 and the middle is 10 oh and yes it so it's 10 and different. no it's 11 and 15 okay 11 and 15 15 okay this is Muhammad yes right good Muhammad so as Muhammad said it's here clustering between 11 and 13 in this example we have the points we should first plot the points okay guys plot the points for A and B two minutes finish A and finish B and we will answer together this part but first you should plot finish the graph you have two minutes you are right Abdullah also it's 11 to 15 correct Okay guys, I will show you the graph. Oh. There's a problem here. This that can answer. Okay, just a minute. Okay guys, so the first graph, this one, I want, answer, please. Answer. okay, in this question, uh, who is asking to answer, uh, okay, so you answered before and you also Muhammad, I want someone else, and here, I want, mm. I, who will answer, I want him to tell me, whether the data have linear association or non-linear association Mr. that is wrong in this one I guess which point yes that's wrong. that's 180 because here he put the dot in 1 and 80 it is 2 and 80 
two and sixty. The last and one, two and eighty. Two and eighty. Yes. Right. So this point is in this place. Okay. Sorry, Abdullah. I want someone to tell me whether this is linear or nonlinear association. Me. Ahmed Gannas. Yeah. Yes. Linear or nonlinear? Nonlinear. Ahmed, this is nonlinear. Wait. This is like this is in the shape of a line, so it's linear. Okay. Okay. This is negative association and it's linear association. Okay. In this one. These are the points. In this one, it's also linear association. It's positive association and it's linear association. Okay. Uh, it may be there's another wrong Abdullah in the points. But I think you can find this easy. You can do the correct easy. There may be Sir, another how wrong do guess. Sir, how do you know if it's a positive or negative association? Okay, Ahmed, the positive, uh, if you, when you move from right to left, the data goes up. If you move from la right to left and the data goes down, it's yeah. negative. So I understand. Thank you. Okay, now it's your time. You have two questions here. Let's take a go back. I didn't answer it fully. Okay, and everyone try to finish question two and three. Be quick. Okay, Muammal, you are correct. The point 180 is 280, not 180. So this point is wrong. It's here. Okay, guys, we finished this. The first part, number two. Anyone? Uh, I want someone who didn't answer before. I want someone who didn't answer. Sorry, Mustafa, I want someone else. Anyone else? So you answered before. Okay, Saud. The first one, Saud, the association. Linear, yes, positive or negative? negative? Negative association. So this is negative association and it's linear association. And the second one, Faisal, uh, your points may be like this and this is linear or nonlinear? This is nonlinear. Nonlinear, of course. And it's uh, positive. Okay, guys, let's move now to page 273 in the workbook. Be quick. 273. And start to plot the points. 82 and 19. 82 and 19 here and so on 94 42 
if you know the answer the clustering and the outliers let me know in the chat yeah. Abdullah clustering between students Abdullah use your use your mic Okay, you can't use the mic. Anyone else? Clustering between what and what? 80 and 84. Uh, okay, Murtada, read the question carefully. Students, number of students, not the grade. Right? So the number of students here between 16 and uh, this place is 23. And that this point is outlier. Okay, Murtada, the outlier. The outlier point is I think this is 94 and 42. Am I straight, Mr. Uh, sorry? This is opposite. This is wrong. It's 94 and 42. Okay, 94 and 42. This one is not written correct. Yes, Murtada, that's right. Okay, Abdullah. It's 94 and 42 now guys I own someone Muammal are you here Muammal can I answer it Muammal you're not here Adham Okay, Muhammad Fadl. Muhammad Ramadan, okay. The first one, number two. Uh, no association. No association, excellent. And the second one, Muhammad Fadl? Uh, the second one, uh, negative. Negative association. And Ahmad Wael, okay. The last one? Positive. Positive association. Okay, that was easy. In this one, we solved question like this before, so you should graph, and after that, determine whether this is linear association or nonlinear association. Of course, in this one, it's Abbas linear or nonlinear. Uh, the first one is linear. Linear, excellent. The second one, guys, your graph will be like this. And this one, of course, is non-linear. Okay. Non-linear. Okay, guys. Thank you, guys. Go for the assignment. If you have a question, mm -hmm. wait. If you don't Thank understand you, anything, you can wait and tell me what you need. If you don't have a problem, leave, leave and go to the assignment. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's have a question. Okay. Who's this? Okay. Yes, Ahmed. Uh, what is the meaning about clustering? I don't understand. Uh, again? The clustering. Okay, the clustering. Uh, look at this, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, in this one, all points are in this place, right? Yes. Except yes. this one. Yes. So these points are clustering. They are grouped together. I can choose okay. any one. From look, look again. In this graph, all points are grouped clustering. this place. Right? And yes. we have a point there. This point is outlier. Okay, Ahmed? 
So, so okay. the clustering points, the cluster uh, is when the points are grouped closely together. And outlier, this point is far away from other data points. Okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions, guys? Any question? Okay, thank you guys. Goodbye.